Hey, Team Fuel, welcome back this week. Um, I wanted to kind of go over some um, thoughts about what to do when we're feeling maybe panicked or stressed. Um, just kind of getting rid of some of those yucky feelings. Sometimes our thoughts get swimming around and, and we kind of feel out of control. Um, and so I think the best thing to do when that happens is to start really concentrating on the things that you can control um, because we can't control everything. We can't control everything going on around us. Um, and, you know, most of us are kids, right? So we can't control maybe even everything that goes on in our house. And a lot of times we just need to trust that the people around us um, have our best interest in mind. And we may not understand all of it, um, but we don't really have a choice as to whether or not we go along with it. Um, and so I think there are things that we definitely can control that are worth um, thinking about. So I've got a list in front of me. I won't go over all of them, but I think um, I'll give you some ideas and maybe you can start, you know, once you get on that line of thought, you can also think these are things that I can control too. So maybe um, we can control um, who we ask for help whenever um, we're feeling stuck. Um, and maybe it's even with the person that you're feeling stuck with. Just say, hey, help me, help me through this. Help me um, figure out what I can do with this situation. Um, I think sometimes us adults get kind of, we get stuck too and saying, hey, you can't do this and you can't do that. But um, maybe remind them, hey, give me some ideas of what I can do in this situation. Um, so you both can work on it together. Um, maybe saying when you need a break. Um, obviously politely, but to say, hey, I, I, can I step away and come back? Sometimes just changing the scenery around us helps us um, get a different perspective and come back maybe with a little bit better mood because we all need breaks, right? Um, we can decide uh, maybe doing some exercise. Choose some exercise things that you like to do. Maybe even if it's just a quick break and you do some mountain climbers or um, just do a quick little run around the house or maybe even just go take the trash out, you know, just um, step away, get some exercise and come back. Um, using an I statement instead of saying you never let me do something, you can say I feel like I don't have enough options can you help me understand um, how to work this through or what I can do? Um, another big one is the kind of attitude that you have. Um, it's really easy to assign an emotion to something like, like anger or frustration, but do you realize we don't have to put an emotion to everything that we're told? There's a lot of things going on right now that maybe we don't like um, and feel like where there's a lot of you can't do this and you can't do that and we're staying safe. Um, but to think about maybe that is something that I don't love and puts me in a little bit of a bad mood, but I don't have to assign an emotion to that. I can just say, okay, and then find something that you that inspires you or makes you happy. Just change the channel in your head to, you know what, I would rather think about a vacation that you've been on or somewhere maybe you want to go. Maybe even draw a picture of it. Just change the channel in your head because there are certain things that are not fun to think about. Um, and we don't, we get to choose how much time that we're going to spend thinking about that or being mad about it. And maybe if you do get mad about it, that's okay. But just say, you know what, I can't, I can't control that, but I can control how much time and effort I give to that thought or that emotion. And I don't want to stay in that sticky, nasty emotion anymore. I'm going to think about something else or I'm going to change the channel in my head. Um, we, we get to choose how we take care of and treat our body. Um, make sure that you're getting exercise. Make sure that you're eating some good stuff. Sometimes you can be in a bad mood just because you're eating some junk food. And junk food's fun, um, but not when it's all the time. Um, there are certain foods that are going to make your body feel better. Um, did you know that your stomach and your brain talk to each other quite a bit? And it's not just when you're hungry. 
it also helps your mood. Um, your stomach, actually a lot of your emotion and your mood comes from your stomach. And guess what? Your stomach is responding to the foods that you're eating. So if you're feeling kind of crappy, maybe think, when's the last time I ate something really healthy? Maybe I should try that. Take in some water. So those are, those are some ideas that I have. Um, see what you can think of. When, when there is something that comes in front of you, ask yourself, um, what can I do? Um, what can I control in this situation? And if it's not something you can control, move on to something that you can. There's lots of things that you get to choose for yourself, and it's easy to overlook because it doesn't seem like a problem to us. Um, but we don't want to always just focus on our problems, right? We want to focus on the things we can do and the ways that we can improve things and, and what we put our thoughts toward. So I hope that's helpful. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for joining.